Today, the first reading speaks of how God used Elijah to raise a boy from the dead. And today's gospel also speaks of Jesus raising a son from the dead. Now, how do those two readings relate to our everyday lives? We can look at a few of the saints' lives as some examples, and we know that their lives were not always holy, for they were human and had weaknesses and sinned. Let me give you some examples. St. Augustine, who lived in the 4th century, was quite the wild child when he was young, partying and got a woman pregnant. He lived with her and raised the child but never married her until later on he was changed through God's grace and became holy, became a bishop, and then became a saint. We can also look at St. Mary of Egypt, again, who lived back around the 3rd century, and from today's standards, would be referred to as a sex addict because of her uncontrollable sexual desires. But again, God touched her heart, changed her, and became she became a holy person that inspired many people's lives. Another one we can look at is the venerable Matt Talbot. Matt was an alcoholic, and because of his addiction, he stole and took advantage of people to support his drinking. He was not a very nice person, but yet God in all his magnificence and glory touched him and changed him, and he became a holy man. And many people became inspired to know his God. This applies to us so much because we know that we sin, and we know that we are human, and we know that we have weaknesses, and we think that God is disappointed with us, or that God might be mad at us, or doesn't love us, or that he might even be fed up with us, because he knows we're going to sin again and again. But this is simply not true. God loves us. He knows what our weaknesses are, and he's already seen all of our sins. And it doesn't matter because he doesn't give up on us. He is merciful and he still wants to grab a hold of us and touch our hearts and change us. He wants us to serve him. He wants to use us as his vessel to help other people know his love. Yes, this is true. And if you look at the second reading today, St. Paul wrote a letter and he talks about how awful of a person he was and how he hurt many people, even in the church. Yet God chose him to help other people find God and to learn about Jesus' love. This is the same way with us. God continues to work and to try and help change us and change our hearts. And it's important for us that every day we pray to God and we say to him, yes, God, I give you permission to transform me. And I give you permission to use me in whatever way you see fit to serve your glory. And we have to trust him and know that in his time, he will help us to become holy. So today, those three readings really give us hope. Thank you and God bless you.